Hello friends, in this video, I will tell you how we can perform arithmetic operators on vectors. So for that, firstly, we need to have vectors. So I am creating here two vectors and then we will perform arithmetic operators on those two vectors. So the first vector I am creating A. And I have stored four value into it and then I have pressed control enter to execute it. Now I am creating second vector again with four values and then I am executing it by pressing control enter. Now firstly we will see the addition on vectors. So here I am storing the sum of the vectors into the third vector that is C. So I have written here C and stored the sum of A and B into C. Pressed control enter to execute it and then I am printing the output of C. So this way the output of C would be 4, 6, 6, 2. That means the respective elements would be summed and that way this would be the output. Now we will see the subtraction of vectors. So I am storing the subtraction of A and B into C, pressing control enter to execute it. Now I am printing the C. So that way the output would be 0, 0, 2, 0. Now we will see the division. So division of vectors for this again I am storing the result of A division B into C and pressing control enter to execute it and then printing C to see the division result of A by B. So the output is 1, 1, 2, 1. Now, if we want to get the modulus or remainder of vectors. So again I am storing the result into C and writing A percent percent B and then control enter and then I am printing the C. So the output of this would be 0, 0, 0 and 0. Now we can also get the power of vectors. So for that again I am storing the result into the C and writing A power B. So when I will press control enter there is no error. So now I am printing the results of C and that way the R is giving us 4, 27, 16 and one. So the meaning is for each element which we have given in A and B, respective elements would be added, subtracted, multiplied, divided and you can get the power that way. So the crux of this arithmetic operators on vectors is generally we should have two vectors or more than two vectors, each of equal size. So that way it would be easy for us to get the output. So friends, I hope this video will help you to understand arithmetic operators on vectors. So thank you for watching this video. Stay connected for more such videos in our.